Hey guys and welcome back to episode 6. So we're just going to uh, keep on going from where we left off and hopefully find some awesome stuff. Apparently killing zombies doesn't give that much XP anymore. So I'll need to focus on building and crafting. But even to be able to build and craft awesome stuff you need to have skill points to get those things. So. Hopefully we level fast enough so we can get the perks for electricity, etc. Please don't be like the last house and spawn late. Ah, I shouldn't have stood up. See, when you're crouching, they don't seem to notice you. As soon as I stood up, you noticed me. Better quality mining helmet. I'll wear that now. What bothers me is the fact that they stand up from being uh, killed by an arrow. They should actually fall or stay down. They shouldn't move at all. Also, apparently they said they have decoy dead bodies, but so far all of them have stood up. Let's see if I knock on this door, if someone will help me open. Stand up, hit. That should have woken them up. Fat wine guy, awesome. First time seeing him, well rather seeing him back. I've been playing since Alpha 9, so I saw him before in previous Alphas. Let's see if a crouched kill will work on him. Nope, he's too fat, too big. He's a, he has as much health as the fat lady. As long as he doesn't run and explode like a cop, I'm okay. But apparently these guys are so big and the cop's even bigger now. I'm actually curious to see how big the cop is. That's also why guys, if you, are, if you join the server, we can actually go to the hub. Explore it a bit. Doesn't seem to be anyone here. Oh, I forgot about the trash cans behind these buildings. So I think after I've done all the buildings, I'll just run past all of them and see if I can find more. Don't seem to be anyone in here. To think, usually these would have, these would have been so fast to loot. Now you have to be so careful for sleeper zombies. I wonder what kind of zombies can be sleeper zombies. Any kind? Or does it depend on your level? That's disappointing. Now that I know there are sleeper zombies, I actually want there to be sleeper zombies. Would be cool if you find all the items we need to make electricity just by looting. Instead of having to buy perks. I wonder, the notes, the patch notes said that you can't pick up a workbench anymore. But I wonder if it's possible to pick up forges still. Yeah, that's it for this building. Let's just drop everything off before we continue. Wear that one, put these away. Black suit pants. It'd actually be awesome to walk around like an assassin or something. Also guys, do you want me to leave the light on or off? Uh, this, this is the one I placed as soon as I got to the town. Uh, do you want to leave me... Uh, do you want me to leave the... Headlight on or off because I usually play with it on just since it's easier to take screenshots and everything for thumbnails But if you want me to turn it off then just say so because I know that it, it does play with the eyes a bit The contrast between the this light and the rest of the light Okay, now I have to remember not to stand up and then I can kill them If they spawn properly this time since they delay sometimes in spawning I have to go through all the rows To make sure they spawn Let's see can I kill this one first shot? Okay, so me crouching doesn't wake them, but I believe that if they die like that, they're making a noise. Technically, that should wake up the rest. And I know, guys, I just want this game to be difficult. I'm hunted from where. Wow, that, that actually, <laughs> that scared me a bit. Careful not to spawn any unnecessary zombies. He must have been one of those that just, they were standing already. 
because I didn't stand up and I didn't make noise, but he still spotted me. I'm waiting for the zombie to hide behind here. I wish it was possible to run while crouching, or just move a little bit faster. Because now, in these buildings, you have to crouch to be able to kill all the zombies without them noticing you. But that takes so long since you have to crouch and walk. There should be a nest up here. Doesn't seem to be. Fastest way down seems to be here. Uh, I don't actually really rage in games, like when I get killed or something. But if you want to see me get mad, then it has to be an unfair death. Like for example, late spawning sleeper zombies killing you. Then again, this is a experimental build, or an experimental build, so... Technically, you shouldn't get mad, you should expect stuff like that, but still. I just hope that I can buy a monitor and everything in time to stream the official build. The stable build. Okay, just this one room left, let's see if there's anything inside. Then again, I've been making so much noise, if there's something there, so they should have woken up. Let's just do this, we want to wake them up, so they can help us. Even though I was expecting that, that actually really surprised me. Usually I just kill them like when their head sticks to the door, but I want them to be able to help me open this door. Are all these uh, two meters two meters tall? Slender tall zombies. Seems there's a limit to what can spawn inside this room. Because so far it's only been two zombies at a time. Also I need to come back to all of these places once I have a proper tool so I can loot all the safes. I'll probably have to make a new drop chest over here as well. And then after I've looted this whole place I'll just round up all the loot chests. I don't mind if I wake up the sleepers from outside. But it'll be a problem in a confined space. See all these places have stuff at the back which I keep forgetting to loot. I think before I go in I have to make the drop chest. But where's the ladder? I wonder if this place has stuff on the roofs like the stores. And if the stores even still have loot on the roofs. Okay, so since we need to loot these bunch of houses, let's just place the chest over here. At least I don't have to mark that, it's, uh, that there are drop chests in the street since it's one street and it's laid in a row. Technically I don't need Yuka Juice at the moment, and don't need torches, so why am I carrying them? Need as much space as possible to loot these places. Okay, now that's a landmine, guys. That should have woken up all the sleepers. For big stores like these, you need torches to see inside. Now, I must just be careful to not step accidentally on one of those. Like that one. Wait. Before I destroy it, I just loot this over here. Because it's going to destroy that trash. Or not. Huh. That's some tough trash. Come on, help me out. I'm definitely hunted, but by what? As long as there's not something behind me, I'll be fine. Or should be fine. Just place that there. For some quick light. Where is that zombie now? There are landmines everywhere in this place. Even inside, damn. Why do they sometimes stand still like that? I need to be super careful when walking in here so I don't accidentally step on a mine. Okay, so it seems I don't need torches in here since this light is bright enough. So there's a safe in here as well. And let's see what's behind here. I can't believe we have to wait until level 20 to be able to unlock better tools. Until then we have to rely on finding tools. I actually checked the list of zombies they put into Alpha 16 and the list is extremely long. Uh, remodeled zombies, new zombies. I'll have to make myself a new stone axe soon. This one's doing crap damage. I 
Okay, so the good thing is, it seems there are no more landmines in this place. Well, I'm speaking too soon, I have to be careful still. Just now relax and then step on one. See, there's a hubcap mine over there. Okay, so now the question is, can I pick up that chemistry station? On the one hand, I want to try, on the other hand, I'm too scared I'm going to destroy it. After finishing this room, I definitely have to make a new stone axe. It's a shame that crafting new ones uh, doesn't increase the quality anymore. Okay, so the question is, who is going to run into this room so fast that they don't actually notice a landmine over there? I mean, you break down the door and then you look into the room first. 800 health, no thank you. And it seems I got iron from that. I don't remember ever getting iron from it. So hitting it too much might just make it explode or something. Well, not explode, break. There are so many of these places in here. The only reason I'm actually capturing all of them on camera is because of the chance of screamer zombies and um, sleeper zombies. I said screamer because the streamers show up for so, so little activity these days. Okay, wait, what? They're already standing up and I'm not even close. Okay, so I need stones. Is there a small cinder block over here? Yes, there's over there. The good news is this place is chock full of cars. So when we need to get car parts, we will have a ton of cars to pick from. Okay, now grass. Okay, so we've dropped everything that we should drop. Let's keep looting. Wait, I, I thought I looted it. Oh, I scrapped it. Doesn't seem like it. It's actually weird that he doesn't try the door. Okay, the rest shouldn't see me now. He only noticed me because I was so close to the... Or he was so close to the window. And this one because I took too long, damn. There is virtually no arrow drop. I wonder if it's just not far enough away for to drop or what, because I aimed a little bit up and it missed him. If I had like a proper gun, I'd just run in here and start shooting. Is there anyone behind the counter? Nope. I hate turning these corners. Because usually there's a zombie just right here. Nope, luckily not. Okay, so there's a zombie. But she's not reacting. And it's the fat lady, of course. Wait, how did that kill her? Sure, it was sneak damage, but usually she takes like four shots. Sneak damage is only twice the damage. Ooh, August schematic, awesome. And leather boots. Damn, didn't notice her, so I stood up. The cheer leader is as tall, if not taller, than that long guy. But I think it's just because she's so skinny that she looks so tall. <laughs> Sinking into the ground, yet they fixed the ragdoll issue. Guys, for the moment, I'm just making two episodes per in-game day. But as soon as I have a proper base, like a wall, everything to defend, I'll actually start playing during the night as well. The only reason I can't play during the night now is because I don't have any defenses. And I lack the proper tools to actually put up a proper wall. Damn, too late. Two, let's see. If I was right, four shots. Three, and four. I get, I'm guessing that other arrow was a crit damage arrow or something. Okay, so next one is this army camp. Now, I hate this rain. You can't see that far ahead. Especially with the army camp now having the landmines. This is going to be difficult. Okay, um, I think we looted this one. No, we haven't. Here's the first army camp, then that one. And we could just well do the shed as well. So then we've uh, covered quite a bit during this episode. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna have to make some noise. And I am aiming so badly. Like I said, it's not in the site anymore, it's on top of the site. Okay, now where are they all? I want to wake up everyone. But I think I'm gonna have to. You know what? Let's just wake up them all. Then I know they're all here and I know what to expect. Floating base. Huh. It's been a while since I've seen that bug. Hello, Omni guy. Wake up, Omni guy. That was way too easy. Guys, I'm actually playing in warrior difficulty, so it's supposed to be super hard. And I just need to get the aiming right, but he keeps on moving left and right. Come on. Unfortunately, I can't conserve my arrows. Because I need them, they're too tough with their armor on. So I need to finish them with arrows. Some of them just don't make noise until they hit or something. Like for example this one. Where's the noise that they usually make? And now I'll have to break through here. Let's just hope that, no, they will be able to follow if they get through the spikes to get off of here I'll need to run come on give me something good I need to go fetch my sniper rifle I found some sniper ammo but now I don't have the gun for it I'm gonna be so mad if there are landmines in here as well Whoop. oh no 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 yeah I'm gonna die I'm stuck I'm stuck I'm stuck I'm stuck Come on. Well, that was bad. Damn. Yeah, now you know how I feel. You were hitting me. The only reason I was able to get off was because I was jumping. Since they can't jump, it's di more difficult for them. I can be so lucky I have a bandage on me. I'm just gonna pick up all these chairs to use as fuel. And you don't have to waste your wood on fuel. This area is actually super hard to clear out, guys, because all of them are mostly camouflage. There don't seem to be more, any more zombies, so let's hope we can clear out this place without being seen. I wonder how much they burn, how long they burn for. Burn time, 2 minutes 30, wow. So it's well worth picking all of them up. Oh, so there's one more in here. Where is he or her? There you are. Well, technically, you can't see the sex of these. Genderless zombies. Well, see, it's so hard to tell what's what with all this rain. Ooh, sniper ammo. Awesome. Let's just scrap everything we don't need. Okay, so we were here already. Uh, we got this, we got the middle. Okay, so we've looted this place. Now to get out the same way we got in, this side. Why do I keep doing that? No, no! Now I need to make myself a bandage, damn it. Uh, I already stopped bleeding. It was, it's so hard to tell these apart from the rest of the dirt when it's raining. When there's light over here, you can see them clearly, but like this, they're camouflaged. 
And now where do I get in? Landmine? No landmine. Please don't let me step on one. So there's one there, there's one there, so let's walk like this. Run, 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 run. Okay, let's just drop all of this off. And the cool part is, if I'm right, there's a trader up here, so we can sell all of these easily. Should actually go up and check to make sure, but I don't want to waste time. I need to make a new bow, this one's getting damaged badly. Oh, it's a black and yellow or something car. At least the lighting inside gets better. It seems to be a horde outside. And oh, now that one stood up. Damn it. As long as there's no wolves with you guys, I'll be okay. And do this. No, you don't come to me. Wait, what? Where did that come from? Are we able to kill most of these as soon as I get yellow quality tools and weapons? Just how large is this? Come on! I'm so impatient, I'm not looking at the rhythm. And go. The number of fat guys is ridiculous. This is the one from the house I was just in. Where are you going? Nope, nope, nope. I know it's a hassle to kill all of them, but I need their loot. Also, I do level a little bit from killing them, so why not? I actually regret blowing up all these landmines because I could have used them as weapons. And now, if a wolf was to come from behind, I'd be so mad. Let's start looting these corpses. I love this crit damage. I'll definitely need to start making more arrows because I'm running out fast. There's no new zombies here? Nope. Always make sure there's no zombies sneaking up behind you. Especially crawlers. Okay, empty, empty. There's going to be so many screamers showing up here since there's so many corpses lying around. Remember, even the gore blocks add to the heat map. And if just building calls screamers, just imagine killing all these zombies. So as soon as I see a screamer, I just need to be careful. Because I want to see if she actually spawns another wolf. Since I'm playing on Warrior, I wonder if it's dependent on your difficult settings what she spawns. I know that the higher your level gets, the more difficulty it is. But still... And now I need to focus, I'm wasting all my ammo. As soon as I shoot, they shift the heads a little bit to the side. So I miss. And now to make sure all these corpses are empty. Okay, so I've looted all the corpses and killed all the zombies. Oh, except for these. The reason I actually thought that this was part of the 
Hub City was because of the wasteland area that I found at the back. It's just a small patch, but I was I thought it might might lead somewhere. I just didn't know what was going on. Okay, so let's just quickly take the arrow out of this one. Scrap it, and then there's a little bit more space. See, I should actually be randomly scrapping stuff because just now I need them later on. Okay, so food's almost full. Water's getting low because of that. Okay, let's quickly loot the shed and see what it holds. Now imagine, these small houses take so long to loot. Just imagine how long it's going to take to loot the skyscraper that Madmore mentioned. Another fat lady. Please die like the other one. Nope. And she's awake. <laughs> of course I can't hit her now that she's lying on her back. Damn, I should have done the top one first. But if I had I stood up, she would have seen me faster. Come on. The opening's right here. For a moment there, I thought she was so big that she can't fit through this big hole. Guys, I just want to be clear. I'm not trying to make fat jokes and everything. She is just that big. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the party. These guys are such a pain to kill. Come on, you went right past the hole. Okay, is there anything else back here? Cupboard. Oh, okay. Let's read this. Okay, so I think we covered four bases again. One, two, three, four, five bases this time. Let's just do this one shed as well. So that all the sheds in the area are done. Wait, what's that? Another oh, biker dude. I don't want to go too far into the woods. Why don't they show up when you hit them? Technically, they're supposed to be angry and come after you. Oh, I'm not going to waste time on that guy if he doesn't want to come to me. There's so many crops in this area. Just now noticed. It's a tire that is. Another biker. Huh? Okay. Let's quickly get this and then also go get those two. Perhaps they have some loot. I know that the first cream I faced had a ton of ammo on her. So the bikers should also have quite a bit of loot on them. It's a shame he spotted me. So off camera I'll need to actually go and get uh, enough stone and wood to be able to use all the feathers I had. And I'll need to go back to all the places that I was just now, for all the drop chests, to get all the feathers. I wonder, between me and a zombie, what will be attacked first by a dire wolf? Because I know that the wolves actually also attack the zombies. And another wolf back there. Whoa, he slid towards me. I don't want to deal with a wolf now, so where's the other biker guy? I say that now, but as I run, I'm going to run into a wolf. Watch. Definitely wasn't the same biker guy, so where's this one? Hello. My gift to you, an arrow in the face. Okay, so... We actually managed to get six houses in this episode. If you guys liked this episode, please have a like and share with your friends. If you have any comments for me on this game or feedback from your own gameplay, or if you just want to join me on the server, please let me know down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, remember to subscribe for more of this content. See you guys next time.